Intel and AMD's partnership is slowly coming to fruition, and Nvidia is doing some weird things with their terms of service. So stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMelt. Intel told us a little while back that they collaborated with AMD's GPU division to build a monolithic die that combines a powerful AMD GPU with Intel's H-series mobile chips to bring truly powerful gaming to thin and light laptops. Well, we just got a small glimpse of the upcoming chip on Intel's website. It was found on their site under unlocked processors and reported by video cards. Unfortunately, when you click on the CPU, it's just a dead link. But given it was put up by Intel, we can probably trust the specs we have. The chip is called the Core i7-8809G, and it's clocked at a nice 3.1 GHz. It also supports dual-channel DDR4 RAM at up to 2400. We know the integrated Vega GPU comes with HBM2 memory as well, though I assumed it would be shared memory since the whole point of the stacked RAM is to save space. Still, choosing that over GDDR5 does do that, just not as much as I had hoped. Unfortunately, when we make our way over to the TDP, I'm feeling like the hope of having a real gaming laptop and a thin and light package have been crushed. Yes, this monolithic die is tiny and saves a ton of space for things like a bigger battery, but with the TDP at 100 watts, I don't know if the space savings will be enough to dissipate all that heat. The wattage is similar to a discrete 1050Ti with a H-series CPU. Now, as I said, the space savings could be big, so there's a chance the biggest issue really isn't the heat dissipation, but more need for space. But I'd argue a lot of the space is from the heat dissipation from things like heat spreaders, so this is a tough call. Let me know what you think on that in the comments below. Next up for today, it looks like Nvidia made a recent change to their license agreement that doesn't allow the use of their GeForce GPUs in data center processing, other than blockchains. Basically everything but mining. Now, this is a little peculiar if you ask me. I fully understand that Nvidia has recently spent quite a bit in research and development for their deep learning GPUs, but I'd argue that it's their responsibility to make these processors worth it for those looking to utilize them for data centers. If their GeForce GPUs can provide similar performance at a much cheaper cost, why spend the extra money? Well, Nvidia apparently wants to force them. Of course, Given they do provide software updates beyond what comes with the hardware, I get it if they stop spending man hours to make GeForce cards better suited for data center processes, but disallowing it all together seems like a bit of a stretch. While this isn't gaming related, I think it's something to keep an eye on to see how Nvidia goes about enforcing these new terms. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for Intel and AMD's partnership to bring faster, thin and light gaming notebooks or just want to see a nice APU and desktops? Let me know down in the comments below. And definitely don't forget to check out the GamerMail Discord server if you love talking all things gaming and hardware. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.